When the second Robin Jason Todd came back from the dead, he was a straight up villain. His whole shtick was instead of preventing crime, he would make the attempt to control it all. And this original plan of his runs afoul of Batman during the comic called Under the Red Hood. But afterwards, DC has always tried to get Jason to walk a straight and narrow, essentially molding him into an anti-hero with villainous outbursts. Like when he finds a kid whose mom overdosed, he goes to look for the dad just to find out that the dad's the drug dealer, which causes Jason to lose his nerve and then eventually shoot the father after the dad says that he doses his own son to make him stop talking, immediately contradicting what he said earlier in the chapter of not wanting the child that he just saved to be in the system. So the transition into an anti-hero hasn't been easy for Jason, but there's something that I've been thinking about. With the combination of Zurinar conditioning and Joker toxin, Red Hood is constantly faced with conquering his fears, and we all know what happens to fearless individuals. So with this in mind, could Jason be going through a hyperbolic time chamber of willpower training? Because Jason did become a Green Lantern during Dark Crisis. 